Hello, and welcome to episode 34 of Sarastro's Star Wars painting series. In this episode, we're going to paint the HK Assassin droids from Fantasy Flight Games' Star Wars Imperial Assault. Within the extended Star Wars universe, there are over 10 different known models of the HK, or Hunter Killer, series droids, and they appear in a variety of colours. Although there would be nothing wrong with using any of the basic metallic recipes covered in the series so far, such as the probe droids, IG-88 or C-3PO. In this video we're going to explore three new possibilities that you might find useful for the HK droids and possibly other miniatures too. We'll start with a simple steel theme, which is how I've chosen to paint my two non-elite HK droids. We'll then try a rich golden orange scheme inspired by the character art. And we'll finish off by exploring a rusty red colour scheme inspired by the HK24 series droid and the HK47, who will be familiar to fans of the video game Knights of the Old Republic. Let's now jump straight into painting our first HK assassin droid. I'm going to begin by applying a base coat using a 3 to 1 mix of lead belcher and Stegodon scale green. As you can tell, I've primed my droids in black, followed with some quick Xenothal highlights, which will help guide us when we place our own highlights. This isn't essential, however, and a simple prime in grey, white, or even black would be fine. For the guns on all of the HK droids, I'm using a roughly equal mix of lead belcher and black. I'm now going to shade the entire miniature with some Nuln oil. I'm also shading the guns on the other droids with this. I'm now going to create my highlight tone using a mix of Stormhost Silver and Temple Guard Blue in a roughly 4 to 1 ratio. I'm going to start the highlights with an intermediate tone however, by mixing this with an equal amount of the original base tone. It's worth mentioning that if you want to get your droids to the table quickly, you could skip the highlights altogether, and this is true for the other colour schemes we'll be exploring shortly. Alternatively, you could simply dry brush these highlights on, just as we did for the probe droids. If you do choose to dry brush, you'll probably want to paint the guns at the end. It can be useful to reference a figure that has received zenithal highlights when doing this. This is only serving as a rough guide however, as light has a more unique way of behaving, especially on metallic objects. I'm now applying some smaller highlights on top, using the Stormhost Silver and Temple Guard Blue mix. Next we're going to add a few small final highlights using pure Stormhost Silver. Mm -hmm. 
With IG88, we added interest to the figure by simulating the effect of red and blue indoor light sources. For this HK droid, we're gently suggesting more of an outdoor environment by incorporating the colours of earth and sky. I'm now going to complement these blue tinged highlights with a richer brown tone in the shadows. To do that, I'm mixing equal parts of lead belcher, black and rhinox hide. I've thinned this to a heavy glaze consistency with water and I'm brushing it into the shadows both to increase the depth and bring some tonal richness to the figure. This can be used to deepen broad areas of shade but also to increase the intensity of small areas of shadow like we can see here underneath the knee joints. We can build the intensity up in multiple passes. For the gun, I'm just going to provide a few small highlights with a mix of lead belcher and temple guard blue. I'm now going to provide some glowing yellow eyes. To do that, I'm going to begin by applying some pure white into each socket. I'm then going to work some Stormhost Silver gently round the edge of each eye. This gives us an opportunity to tidy up the edge of the white, but it also lays the groundwork for a simple bit of object source lighting. We can now brush on some yellow, and I'm using Cassandora yellow, although you could thin pretty much any yellow colour you like for this. We can brush this over the surrounding area as well as the eyes themselves. Just remember we want to tint the area without letting it pool. Apart from painting the base and adding some varnish, this completes the steel droid. Let's now apply the same process to create our golden orange variant. For both the orange and red droids, I'm going to begin by painting some of the exposed joints with some lead belcher. This isn't essential however, and there would be nothing wrong with painting these areas the same colour as the bodywork. If you're going to dry brush your droids, then you could of course paint these parts afterwards, along with the gun. I'm then going to shade these parts with some Nuln Oil. I'm now going to provide a golden base tone using a roughly 3 to 1 mix of Retributor Armour and XV88. For the shade, I'm using a 2 to 1 mix of Agrax Earthshade and Fugan Orange.
For the first highlight, I'm going to use a 3 to 1 mix of Skull Crusher Brass and Towelite Okra. You could actually use just pure Skull Crusher Brass here if you want a more reflective finish. I'm adding the Towelite Okra to reduce the level of sparkle to a level that I find more aesthetically pleasing. For the upper highlights I'm going to lighten some pure Skull Crusher Brass with increasing amounts of white. We can finish the highlights off with a very few small touches of pure white. To increase the depth in the shadows, I'm using a 2 to 1 mix of Agrax Earthshade and Drukei Violet, along with a little medium. We shouldn't be afraid to really push the contrast here for maximum effect. For the gun highlights on the last two droids, I'm mixing Stormhost Silver with some Carrick Stone. For the eyes, I'm once again painting the sockets with some pure white, and the surrounding area with the light metal highlight tone. And for this droid I've chosen to tint the eyes green, using some neat Waywatcher green.
With the orange colour scheme complete, we're now ready to move on to the final droid. For this HK droid, I'm starting with a roughly 2 to 1 mix of Screaming Bell and Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm then going to shade this with a 4 to 1 mix of Karaberg Crimson and Fugan Orange. For my first highlight, I'm using an equal mix of Evil Sun Scarlet, Scrag Brown and Skullcrusher Brass. For my next highlight, I'm mixing roughly equal measures of Wild Rider Red and Skullcrusher Brass. I'm now going to lighten this with increasing quantities of white for the upper highlights. I'm jumping quite sharply to some fairly bright highlights here. We can get away with the pinkness by keeping these highlights nice and small. Next, I'm going to mix some Caliban Green and Evil Sun Scarlet to create my shadow tone, and I'm thinning this down with water to create a heavy glaze. After painting the eyes white, I'm going to colour them with some thinned Fire Dragon Bright. I've also chosen to provide some metallic chips and scratches using an equal mix of Mechanicus Standard Grey and Stormhost Silver.
All that remains now is for us to paint the bases and protect the miniatures with a matte varnish. And this completes the HK droids. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video and that you find the colour schemes presented useful. Don't forget you can find quick links to the various sections of the video in the description below, along with links to my website and social media accounts. My sincere thanks go to the generous patrons who are funding this series. With their help I am now producing an average of one video per week, which wouldn't be possible otherwise. If you're curious about becoming a patron, you can click on the Patreon link to learn more about how you can support my work and the rewards you can access for doing so. Join me again soon as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Imperial Assault. Happy painting!